Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics here with Victorian Tackle Tactics Pro Angler Luke Smith and we're going to hit him up with the Pro Angler questions. Luke, first off the rank, how did you get into fishing? Uh, always been into fishing as long as I can remember. The um, old man, he loved fishing so I just grew up with it so to me it's just it's just second nature. Don't know any other way really. It's life. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, favourite species and why do you like to target them? Um, I would have to say I probably have three favourites. Uh, one would be chasing mako sharks, yeah. just because there's something different. It's not every day you get to see them. Uh, when you see them in the water, come up to the boat, the, the blue colours that they put off is just ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but then when you hook them up, they go crazy. You might get a 100 kilo shark, a couple of metres long, that can jump four or five metres in the air doing yeah, backflips. It's insane. Animal. It's crazy. And then the third, uh, sorry, the second would be um, barramundi. Um, don't get up there often, but when I do, I enjoy it thoroughly. It's yep. probably probably an easy move, I reckon, heading north, just yep. to, so I could be a bit closer. Um, and the third would be Mulloway, just a bit harder to catch, but when you do get them, it is more rewarding than that. Yep. Yeah, pretty iconic species, all of those, except the you know, out-of-the-box one, which is yeah. a, definitely a different sort of animal, I think. Uh, most memorable captures for you? Um, one would have been more recently. Um, Going on the Barra theme, being up Darwin a few times with, with my mum, she loves doing it. It was her bucket list to always try and get that metre Barra. Yep. Um, and last trip, uh, we managed to pull it off, sort of everything come together. It was going to be our last trip up for a long time. Last trip with my mate who was the guide. Um, it turned out it was on my dad's birthday and everything. Oh, and then wow. we pulled off the, the metre fish. Mum got a metre fish right um, probably in the last couple of hours. So it was yeah, just is... awesome. After 10 years of going there, yep. it just pulled it together in the last one. So how fishing does that for you, hey? Exactly you know, right. Like it, just, it all comes together like that. Definitely. Um, if you could have one Tackle Tactics lure or a couple, what would they be? Two and a half inch Slim Swim. Yeah. Just especially down south, everything eats it. There's, there's nothing that doesn't doesn't eat it really. It, it's For a big fish, it's just a snack. They'll eat it just because they're yep. a little bit peckish. But for little fish and brim and that, they absolutely climb all over it's, them. And It's one of those, it's... I don't know, it's changed the game a little bit in terms of paddle tails, hey? Definitely, definitely. There's been other paddle tails, but usually they just have that bigger body or a, a rounded body and that, whereas these things just swim that bit different. They're nice and small, like a real good snack size, and the motor oil colours just, yeah. it's changed the game just as much, so I've seen pretty you, awesome. I've seen you smack some quality fish on No, they, they work. <laughs> Bucket list species for you? Um, at the top of the list would definitely be swordfish. It's something yeah. I want to tick off next year, and that, I love the blue water and... Down south, that's probably probably one of the harder species to catch. Um, it's only really the fisheries really opened up in the last four or five years, and that yep. with a couple of guys from Tassie starting it, and then a few other guys expanding on it uh, from Malacuta and that. Yep. Um, it's a bit harder from here. It's sort of ten-hour drive to go to the lake's entrance and that, where there is good numbers, but there is some off here. But at the same time, next year I'll put in a lot more trips, Pretty hopefully, nice over there. They're, Pound for pound, the hardest fight, and they say, and yep. the average size in Australia seems to be about 150 kilo instead yeah, of yeah. the States, if they get a 50, 60 kilo one, that's not a bad fish, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, Just all the best, all the best. With hopefully, the hopefully. Um, what's a piece of fishing advice that you've been given that's stuck with you? Uh, fish hard. Fish yeah. hard's definitely one of those things. It's something that you've got to do. A lot of people sort of, you know, say, you, you always get these good fish, how do you do it, things like that. The biggest thing is you've got to put time on the water. Um, there's no point sitting at home sort of thinking, oh, I should go, but nah, nah, I can't be bothered. It's and that, a bit warm, it's a bit cold, it's a bit windy, it, it's a bit, yeah. It's more, more of the case of I've got a chance, I'm free, yep. I'm going to go. And you've got to really make the most of it when you get the opportunity. Um, I've done it before and it's hurt me in the past where someone will give you a heads up and it's like, I was out yesterday doing this, I'm tired today, I'm just going to have it home, have a relaxing day. And then you heard they absolutely went off and you went there. So you've just yeah. got to put the time in. Especially these days when it's, it's on Facebook, it's on Insta, it gets rubbed in pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yep, exactly yep. right. No, that's a, good, that's a good call, fish hard. And three tips, if there's somebody out there that's new to fishing or wants to have a crack at fishing, what are three tips you'd give them? Yep, uh, the one percenters would be one. So checking your leader, if you get a snag, check your leader after everyone. Um, you know, make sure you haven't got little kinks in your line, anything like that. It sort of, um, it really does hurt you. Just one of those little things, especially fish and snag stuff. Um, it really can cost you a fish. 
Yep. Uh, another one would be learn good knots. Yep. Good knots, you, um, you save yourself a bit of money in tackle, but you also save yourself that fish of a lifetime. Yep. Uh, can really hurt you. It also helps you fishing out, learning knots like the FG for sort of when you go into a bit heavier leader and that, your casting, everything like that, it all improves. Um, the third one would be for especially fishing down south with the water being a bit, bit cooler, um, species like our black brim, yep. fish slow. When you think you're going slow, slow down again. Yep. Um, especially when you get to winter, the fish go a bit slower, they start moving in deeper water, a bit more lethargic. You've really just got to keep it in front of their face, like you would a Murray cod or something, yep. and you've just got to annoy them and more or less get a reaction bite out of them. Yep. Slow it down, slow it down, give them time to eat it. Definitely, and definitely. And like, like jig heads is part of that, so yep. you can really keep it in the zone longer. Uh, the longer time it's free falling, the better, but at the same time you have to go the right weight so the lure is still falling right. Yep. No, that's awesome. Awesome advice for anyone out there that wants to get into a fish, that's for sure. Luke, we know you catch plenty. Thank you very much for your time. No worries at all. Uh, you can follow Luke's adventures on tacklecom.au. Cheers.